In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to enable two-factor authentication Fortnite on the PlayStation 5. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm gonna show you the proper way of enabling two-factor authentication to be used when you sign into your Epic Games account to play Fortnite or any other game available in there. So as you can see, instead of doing this process on your actual console, you will have to visit the website. So go to fortnite.com instead of viewing this process inside of the game. To my knowledge, it is impossible to set up two-factor authentication inside of the game itself. So when you visit the website at fortnite.com, you will be able to sign into your account at the top right corner of the screen. And once you are properly signed into the account where you want to manage two-factor authentication, hover over your icon and then click account from the drop-down menu that appears. On the account page, use the left-sided menu and go over to password and security. Inside of password and security, scroll all the way down and the last category is going to be two-factor authentication. As the name suggests, this is where you are going to be able to set up two-factor authentication so every time someone logs into your account from an unauthorized access point, they will be prompted to verify their identity. So, you will be able to set up two-factor authentication through three methods. You can use the Authenticator app on any mobile device that is compatible with the app. You can use your email or an SMS code. Using the app means that every time you sign into the account, you will have to open the mobile application, get the code from there, and input it into the login prompt. If you choose the email option, you will have to visit the email address registered on your account to input the security code. And finally, SMS code means that you are going to receive a text message on the phone number verified, and you have to input the code on that text message. Regardless of which option you pick, all that you have to do is click Setup and follow the instructions on screen. You might be prompted to verify your identity, and as long as you can input the security code sent to your email, maybe confirm your phone number, or download the mobile app and scan the QR code, everything is going to be set up for you and you are now ready to use two-factor authentication. Because it contains personal information, I won't be able to show the full process on screen, but this is all you have to do. Manage it from this page, and if you ever want to remove this option, it is also going to be available in here. I hope I was able to help you on how to enable two-factor authentication on the PlayStation 5. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.